You can't help but be completely immersed in the work. It's totally panoramic. It just consumes you visually when you stand in front of it. His abstract paintings of the 1980s and the early 1990s really represent the apotheosis of his artistic career. We have this spectacular work by Gerhard Richter, Abstractor's Build from 1986. It is monumental in scale. And it's one of 24 paintings that he created in this scale of over 150 inches in width. It's one of a very few number left in private hands, so 16 of those are now in major museum collections as well, including the National Gallery in Berlin, the Stats Gallery in Stuttgart, and the St. Louis Museum of Art. And it has this incredible affinity, really, with the panoramic works of Claude Monet. Richter really began experimenting with abstraction in the late 1960s, early 1970s, but it wasn't until the 1980s that he fully developed his abstract aesthetic. Someone like Jackson Pollock is very important for, for Richter, and Barnett Newman as well was an incredibly important influence, and he's one of the painters that Richter has always cited as making the most incredible pictures of the 20th centuries. Richter thinks about figuration and abstraction in the same breath and doesn't see them as two mutually exclusive elements. 1986 really does represent a breakthrough year for Richter. It's the moment at which the squeegee takes over as the principal methodology for Richter as he pulls the paint across the canvas and it mixes the colour in unexpected ways and it also destroys a little bit of what came before and it also has this almost photographic layer in the very background, in the very depth of the painting. But this picture really has an incredible collusion of colours and forms. The main thing that comes across is just this really complex dialogue between the primary colours. So red, yellow and blue. In the centre you have this waterfall-like form kind of cascading down the canvas. And at the top of that it's really a kaleidoscopic and on the left, it's very much sort of watery, water lily, sort of aurora borealis colors that create this incredible wave-like form across the canvas. Richter's work encompasses so many different themes, but essentially it's about painting, and it's about the ability of painting to do something more in image creation. So it's that meeting of opposites, a, a battle between negation and creation, and the idea of chaos and order, and chance and planning. Because of its chromatic intensity, the amazing coalition of form and colour, and the spectacular monumental scale, this is undoubtedly one of the finest works by Gerhard Richter that we've seen at auction.